Parallel Realities Choosing Your Timeline in the Simulation What if the most important decisions of your life are being made without you, not by fate, not by some god in the clouds, but by your own unconscious attention? Because what science and spirituality are now starting to agree on is this. You are already shifting between versions of your life. You are already living inside a simulation that responds to your decisions, your vibration, your focus. This isn't just poetic, it's physics. In quantum theory, there's a framework called the many worlds interpretation. It suggests that every time a particle faces a decision, a fork in its path, reality splits. One version goes left, one version goes right, and both continue to exist in parallel. Now apply that to your life. Every time you choose love over fear, every time you say yes when you normally say no, every time you break a pattern, you don't just change how you feel, you change which version of reality you collapse into. You're not moving through time, you're moving through timelines. And most people, they're unaware they even have that power. They stay on autopilot, reacting the same way, feeling the same fears, thinking the same thoughts. And the simulation? It keeps loading the same levels, the same situations, the same suffering, the same storylines because you haven't changed the input. In quantum mechanics, particles exist in a superposition, in multiple states, until observed. The moment you observe, the wave collapses into one outcome. That's not science fiction. That's the way your body, your brain, and this entire physical world operates at the most fundamental level. Now, here's the twist. Your focus is the observation, your emotion is the input, and the simulation, it collapses based on what you tune into. Which means, if you live in anxiety, the world gives you more reasons to be afraid. If you carry guilt, your environment reflects that shame back to you. But if you shift internally to clarity, to intention, to compassion, the code begins to respond. This is why ancient wisdom and modern science are not as far apart as they seem. In Hinduism, karma isn't just about punishment, it's about momentum. Each choice you make carries energy forward into the next moment. The universe becomes your mirror. In Buddhism, your suffering isn't from reality, it's from your attachment to it. Change your relationship to the moment, and the moment changes. In Islam, it is written that God changes not the condition of a people, until they change what is within themselves. In Christian teachings as you believe so it shall be done unto you. Even in atheism the latest science tells us your brain literally constructs your experience. It fills in the gaps, it filters the data, you're not seeing reality, you're seeing your version of it. Which version, that's up to you. Now think of this as a simulation, like a video game where each choice opens a new path, every conversation, every moment of stillness, every breath. You are selecting a track, a version, a branch. You are feeding the code your preferences, whether you know it or not. And the more aware you become, the more aligned your intention becomes with your action, the higher the frequency you shift into. We often hear the phrase raise your vibration, it sounds vague, but maybe it's just simulation language for shift the version of reality you're collapsing into. So here's the question you were never taught to ask. Are you choosing your timeline or are you being dragged into the lowest one available? Because if you don't choose, the simulation defaults to your strongest unconscious pattern. Fear, doubt, guilt. These are commands. So are gratitude, focus, integrity. Each moment is not just a decision, it's a dimensional access point. This version of you, right now, is one of infinite outcomes. The only difference between you and the one who's already where you want to be. A few thoughts, a few choices, a few collapsed waves, you are not stuck, you are surfing timelines, 
You are loading versions of your life based on what you feel, focus, and believe. This is not about delusion, this is not magic, this is simulation logic, and the render engine is listening. So today ask yourself, what do I want to collapse into, which version of me already exists, and what can I do, right now, to step toward it? Because the version of you with peace, with power, with purpose, isn't far away, it's just one alignment shift from here. Like, subscribe, or just pause and pick your next frame wisely. Let's keep decoding this reality together.